the sides of a vertical cylindrical tank 3.6 meters in diameter and 3.6 meters high consists of vertical wood staves. The bursting stress is resisted by two horizontal steel hoops located at quarter points of the sides. Quarter points of the sides. The lower half of the tank contains water. The upper half oil of specific gravity 0.8. So compute the tension in its hoop. So let's have the figure first. These are the two hoops at quarter points of the side. So uh, 3.6 divided by 4, so 0 0.9 from each end. Then it, con it contains water, half filled for the lower half. Then the upper half is oil of specific gravity 0.8. So let's have the free body diagram of the side. So we have two times tension in the upper hoop here, two times tension in the bottom hoop, in the lower hoop or bottom hoop. Then this is the pressure diagram. Uh, let's call this intensity pressure P1. So that's 0 0.9, that's 0 0.9. So this is 1.8. So P1 and this one as P2. Then those are the distances. So P1 equals 0 0.8 times 9.81 times 1.8. So the pressure P1 is 14.13 kilopascals. While P sub 2 is beginning here because the pressure at the bottom should be P1 plus P sub 2 total. But we'll just compute for this intensity P2. So P sub 2 is 9.81 times 1.8. And it is equal to 17.66 kilopascals. So let's have the forces. F1, the distance from the top is two thirds of 1.8, 1.2, minus 0.9. So its distance from the hoop is 0.3. So 0.3 from the hoop, then 1 point, because this is 1.8 minus 0.3, so 1.5 from the bottom hoop or from the lower hoop. Then F2 due to this rectangular pressure diagram. So it is exactly acting at the center of this bottom hoop, F2. Then F3 would be this, one third of 1.8 from the bottom, so 0 0.6. Its distance from the top, so is 0.6 from the bottom, so 0.3, this is 0.3, plus 1.8, 2.1 from the upper hoop. So that's it. So F1 is volume of this pressure diagram, which is 1 half or 0.5, P1, 14.13 kilopascals, height 1.8, then perpendicular to the board is diameter 3.6. So F1 is 45.78 kilonewtons. F2. So F2 is equal to this pressure diagram rectangular. So P1, 14.13, height 1.8, perpendicular to the board 3.6. So F2 is 91.56 kilonewtons. F3 is due to this triangular pressure diagram, one half or 0.5 of P2, 17.5 of 17.66, height 1.8, perpendicular to the board 3.6, again, diameter. So 57.22 kilonewtons, F3. So summation moment about the lower bottom hoop equals zero to compute for the tension in the upper hoop or stress in the upper hoop. So 2 times T sub U times 1.8 plus F3 which is 57.22 times 0.3 then equals F1 45.78 times 1.5 plus F2 times 0. So there's no need to mention F2 because its moment arm is zero. So we can now compute tension in the upper hoop or stress in the upper hoop 
14.31 kilonewtons. Likewise, I mentioned a moment about this point upper hoop equals zero. So two times tension in the bottom hoop times 1.8 is, is equal to F1, 45.78 times 0.3 plus F2, 91.56 times 1.8 plus F3, 57.22 times 2.1. That's the moment arm. And you can now compute tension in the bottom hoop equal to 82.97 kilonewtons. So what is important here is you know how to compute for the tension in the hoops. And remember the free body diagram of the pressure diagram rather.